El cuerpo se ve no solo una entidad biológica, sino como una parte integral del orden cósmico. Los chamanes y o, o unaya creen que la salud y la enfermedad provienen del estado del cuerpo espiritual y energético de una persona, influenciado por las relaciones con los elementos naturales, los, espir los espíritus ancestrales y la comunidad en general. La, las prácticas de curación como la ceremonia son con plantas sagradas, tiene como objetivo restaurar la armonía limpia, limpiando y re, realineando las energías espirituales, ilustrando una comprensión holística de la existencia humana donde el cuerpo, la mente, el espíritu están profundamente interconectados. Hi, the non-physical component of the body in health and disease challenges Western epistemologies but is integral to indigenous traditions. In our perspective paper, we explore the concept of epistemological flexibility in manual therapy and its impact on patient care. Historically, the Flexner report of 1910 played a pivotal role in standardizing medical education in North America. While if in high scientific rigor, it also reinforced a hierarchical model of knowledge production, sidelining many holistic and traditional healing practices, the division creating a dichotomy between scientific and non-scientific approaches, limiting the scope of acceptable medical practices. Indigenous cultures possess rich traditions of body knowledge that have been marginalized over centuries. We discuss a decolonial approach in manual therapy to challenge hegemonic structures and foster inclusivity by respecting diverse epistemologies. By reiterating this perspective, we can enrich our understanding and practice of manual therapy in general and osteopathic care more specifically. We discuss the Native American roots of osteopathy and their legacy in current osteopathic principles, particularly the view of each person as a dynamic interaction of body, mind and spirit. Today, the osteopathic profession has the potential to promote a more equitable and holistic healthcare system that resonates with indigenous truths and aligns with modern principles of person-centered care. Combining these approaches enable us to practice a more inclusive, flexible and compassionate form of manual therapy, as historical proposed by the osteopathic profession. In contemporary healthcare, the Chinefin framework has been introduced as a guiding tool to assist osteopathic practitioners in managing complex clinical scenarios. Combining these approaches allows us to practice a more inclusive, flexible and compassionate form of manual therapy. Let's look at a clinical example using the Chinefin framework which categorizes problems to better understand the appropriate response. We have discussed the case of Ricardo, a patient with non-Western body representations in health and disease. Ricardo experiences chronic pain and seeks more than just pain relief. Using the Canavian framework, we acknowledge the complexity of his situation and propose options aligned with these expectations and values. Osteopathic clinicians can integrate evidence-informed approaches with passive manual techniques, as well as patient active participative approaches and traditional narratives familiar to Ricardo, collaboratively creating an holistic and personalized treatment plan. This integrative approach not only respects the patient's cultural background, but also enhances treatment effectiveness. We feel it's important to raise awareness among our st students about the diversity of social cultural assumptions in healthcare. Raising awareness about the diversity of patients' body representations in health and disease can significantly reinforce the therapeutic alliance in whole person healthcare, thereby enhancing the effectiveness of person-centered care in osteopathic medicine. The indigenous perspective we discussed in our paper transcends its historical context, offering valuable insights for contemporary medical practice. In conclusion, Embracing epistemological flexibility and reintroducing indigenous body representations in manual therapy, guided by evidence-based medicine and person-centered care, enables us to deliver more compassionate and effective treatments. Let's continue to broaden our perspective and enrich our practices.